Hello guys, welcome to my recording and in this video, we are going to play StarCraft 2. By the way, this is Alvin, okay? Sometimes I go with um, an alias, okay? Uh, Nehemite, but Alvin's really my name, okay? I better <laughs> use that name from now on, so... Anyway, <laughs> so here we are at the default uh, background model for StarCraft 2. And this background mod is titled um, Face Clouds, I believe. Okay? So, anyway, uh, let's get back at the campaign. But we are actually not doing any campaign missions for now. We are actually doing uh, some, what call this, evolution missions. Okay? Evolution missions are actually exclusive to episode 2 in that uh, there are certain units in star I, I mean in excuse me there are certain units in uh, in the Zerg forces uh, that we could get to choose how they would evolve okay which uh, evolution strand or evolution trait are they going to follow and once having chosen which one it will become permanent as the episode progresses okay um, in one of the previous uh, recordings that I did um, we had uh, we had uh, taken a mission an evolution mission for the zerglings and right now okay we are going to have an evolution mission for the banelings okay before we take that evolution mission uh let me, i'd like us to focus more on how uh what what the default banelings traits are okay <coughs> uh these are actually the minor uh traits okay um traits as we call it okay uh, we have here the corrosive acid, okay, the rupture or the regenerative acid. Okay, the thing is, uh, throughout any campaign mission, I get to choose which one would be, uh, would I have, okay. And actually, I have, uh, I am gravitated towards having this rupture. Okay, I like the idea of the paintings where their blast radius are increased by 50% okay more likely i'm not going to change this anymore okay so this may come up permanent but actually it's not it's just my personal decision to commit uh, to this rupture uh trait minor trait i really don't know what's what's, what's this called okay the thing is uh, corrosive acid rupture or regenerative acid I get to choose which one but they can be changed okay but for the evolution mission that we are going to, to do uh, that will become permanent after this okay <laughs> so I'd like us to focus that this is the default uh, form of the building okay um, I don't know which uh, I don't okay uh, I don't know which one to to, to 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 really look after the task or the uh, the links. Okay. Anyway, let's get back and play this evolution mission now. Banelings drain ready for augmentation. Discovered creature with powerful essence. Good adaptation for baneling. Defeat creature. Assimilate essence. Create new strain. Alright, let's create uh, re let's create new strain. Okay, after after this mission, we we get to choose which one would become permanent. Okay, would, do we would, would we like to have this this later strain, or do we want the hunter strain? Okay, and let's get to find out how these two strains differ by taking up the actual mission itself. Okay. And <laughs> I'm acting foolishly here, guys. Okay. 
Okay. <clears throat> I'm actually checking my camera orientation, okay? I mean the image orientation of my camera. Alright, anyway, let's start Planet now. Nelith, unique life form present on surface. Mitoscarab. Organism has evolved elegant survival mechanism. Decentralized nervous system. Upon death, remains become two lesser creatures. I want the Mitoscarab essence assimilated before the Protoss know we're here. Alright. <clears throat> this is still the, de the default strain for the um for the beam link. Okay. Require additional essence. Prime mitoscarab near. Okay, see what happened earlier to the micro mitoscarab? After uh after dying it uh it separates. See, see that? Introduce the Protoss to our new friends. All right. <clears throat> so this is the speaker strain, and we have uh, see the description here. It splits into two smaller banelings swarm upon death or eruption. Okay, I am grouping this now to group one, and we see what this splitter strain would do in actual combat. Splits into two smaller creatures upon detonation occurs only once. There's only once. Wait. This was the banding, and these are the actually the banding spawn and the damage that they could have. Normal five, but for the structure it would be ten. Okay. All right. Okay, I can see the damage potential with this pain this I mean this now. This uh splitter stream. Experiment, Abathur. <clears throat> Scoria, volcanic resource world, hostile terrain. Thousands of banelings subjected to lava. Extreme conditions used to guide evolution. Over many cycles, adaptation occurs. <laughs> New strain emerges, can leap up cliffs to avoid lava. That's useful. Successful specimens scattered on surface must gather. Okay, grouping this now. Where are we going? Survivors to located here must be collected. Oh, okay. Lava rising. Remain on high ground. <clears throat> and we 
then we have here the description for the uh, hunter's train this unit can jump up and down Lava surges at regular intervals utilize right. high ground I believe it still retains the damage I mean the default damage for the default building. got some movement out here damage Gonna for check three, it out. but versus structure with the AP So I guess the advantage over the uh with this hunter's lane is that um uh, they are mobile okay they can jump so that means uh, there will be no hassle and Those they will be jump? they will Get be in group. Back to the base now. Forces inbound. Okay. I I want us to wait out okay. the lava eruption. Okay, this scenario actually reminds me of a uh, of a mission in episode one of Liberty, where has ended. Uh, low ground clear. Where Raynor is actually uh, assisting the Joryung gas. Mining camp, extracting minerals. I see them. Let's test out these new banelings. Front entrance heavily fortified. Banelings unable to pass. The base is built into the cliffs. Our banelings can travel overland and drop in from the back. Wait, my decision, huh? Okay, let me let me give you the speed of screen. Fix into two things, spawn and death. Then spawn, let's kill the damage. But I can see the damage potential for this, for the speed of screen. Okay. However, for the hunter screen, I can see there the potential also for mobility. And if they're at the back, they can move forward to the, to the enemy. Okay, I think this is useful. Okay, I am choosing uh, the Hunter's Train now. Physically, the only difference that they have between each other uh, is actually at the color. Okay, I am choosing the Hunter's Train now. The same and jump. No longer copy and okay. Hmm. okay. New strain. So we have it there, guys. Okay. And just to review what we have for our paintings now. Okay. We expect to get to shoot the raptor still. Their blast radius is still important for me. Their, their, their damage is not actually that important mm -hmm. 
All right. So I guess it's good, guys. And I'm uh, in this recording. I'm not going to have a a, a campaign mission. I really am tempted to have. Okay. <laughs> All right. So thank you guys for watching this video. I am now going to save this now. And we actually do not have a summary for evolution missions. Okay. The summary that uh, you are going to show here is actually from the previous campaign mission that I have uh, around. Yeah. This. Just this. Previously this recording. <laughs> so hope to see you next time guys. The next video that I will cover would be actually to continue from the last campaign mission. Okay? And whatever choices that I had done for the evolution missions for the Zerglings and the Banelings, uh, they will... Uh, I'm going to have those as they become a permanent integration for the rest of this episode okay so thank you guys and hope to see you again on my other videos okay. goodbye <laughs>